I'm live. It's just me. Lex is out treasure hunting. So hopefully she's um, finding some really, really good stuff. But in the meantime, you've just got to put it with me. It looks really poor quality on my screen. I hope it looks better for you. I've got it on the highest screen settings. Um, can't do anything else about it because I don't know how to do anything else about it. But it does look rubbish. I wonder if I can clean the camera. Does that make any difference? <laughs> got Lex messaging now. She got some cool stuff and she spent £43. Yay! Good morning, everybody in the chat. Shall I do some hellos? I have got first in this morning was young Joshy. And then we've got Janet and Nope, Laurel, Chris, Jason, Cassie, Laura, Dawn Sheree, Paul, Kelly, Bumblebee, Gemma Tarbox. Um, oh, it's gone. Jewelry sells. Haley's 70. Haley's never 70. Um, Rachel Maitland, Gillian Holbrook, Shirley Boland, Fandria, Jane Waithen, sounds like Nathan. Uh, Shazzy D, Anne Pennicott, Elaine D, Mandy Bloom. I think I've got you all. Good morning to you all. It's just me. Oh, and Claire James. Juan Claire. Oh, and Cheryl Cunningham and Shirley. Look, people are still coming in. Just me. Can you put up with just me this morning? I hope so. Good morning, Richie Blenkin. Um, and Jackie Fun Stuff. Look, people are still coming in. I have been to the car boot sale. I've also been out for breakfast with, breakfast with Josh. I need to dye my hair. It's funny you don't notice it until you go on screen. You're like, who's that bit bent there with the big white bones, mate? There's uh, Derek Tap Peddler. He says he's just leaving the boots and he'll listen on his way home. There's Joy coming in. As Sandra Formas has actually made it on the day, usually watching the week. Shelley Braithwaite. Haley 70 was born in 1970. That makes more sense. And Lynn, is, Lynn, did you send me a box this week? A box has arrived and I peeped in it and um, looked at the card. But Natalie's taken it off me because she says it looks birthday -ish. So if it was you, thank you very much. It's not my birthday until next Saturday, so it's been confiscated. <laughs> um, good morning, Sue Bad Wolf. Uh, Lex is out boot sailing. She's gone to Gaelic Air. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Hi, Rebecca. I did mend my blouse. It, it will pop up in this week's waffle. Um, did I say Linda? Let's say Linda again, just in case. And Torella Steele and anyone else I've missed. Good morning to you. So, yeah, Lex is out car booting. That was unexpected. I mean, it might have been unexpected. It might have been expected for her. It was unexpected for me. But I've also been car booting, so I've still got a haul for you. Obviously, I'm on a buying ban, so I haven't bought anything at all, obviously. Anything you see in the next hour, completely figment of your imagination. Thank you, Joy. Yeah, I had to stitch the top of it. But if you if you watch last week's waffle, you'll realise, you'll know that I realised there was a big rip in it and I'd made a video and, and everything, wore it a whole day without realising. <laughs> so, from the car boot today, I did get... Oh, Kelly's had her second, second stabby jabby today. Well done, Kel. You'd be allowed to travel now if they let us go anywhere where you can come back from. Um, yeah, I, I got these for 50p each. These are Wittard, and they say elephants never forget on there. So there's a tall latte and a breakfast tea. No idea of any value, but they were 50p each, and you know me in a mug. <laughs> Susan, says, I love, Susan says, I love watching you on a buy-in ban haul. <laughs> Hi, Yvonne. <laughs> Um, I, of course I have fab bits and Pinnacle. <laughs> what are you implying? My bits are always fab. But Lex will also have fab bits to show you shortly. Um, so yeah, 50p for those two. Elephants never forget mugs, cups, things. I've never heard of this brand. It looks as though it might be Turkish. It's a brand called Gezer Nehar. Um, they haven't been worn and they are anatomical soft comfort shoes. So even though I've never heard of them, I thought I would take a chance on them. They were £1.50. So I thought I'd take a chance on anatomical shoes. Susan says, Lex has horrible bits. I've seen photos. I bet you have. Oh, Rich Knight's life in. It says, Th thanks to you and everybody else who has sent me lovely messages and cards. Not really getting involved with anything much at the moment, but I still watch and listen as it gets me through. Um, just in case you don't know what Rich means, he's uh, very sadly lost his brother this week so um our thoughts absolutely go out to you mate and we are we're all thinking of you and hoping you get through okay that's the best best i can manage never never find the right words can you um good morning to the record rack and anyone else over oh and kaz 88 hi kaz <laughs> and says your fab bits were never in doubt my bits are wonderful darling i bought this josh nearly bought it and then didn't and then i bought it instead so getting it in the trolley was a, a kerfuffle and getting it out is equally a kerfuffle. 
It's a Dennis the Menace cookie jar. Similar one has gone for £36, I think it was. I think I've managed to get him home in one, one in two pieces because he comes in two pieces. There's his head. Good morning, Marie Claire's World, Rebecca Harris. Oh, sorry, Rich. Made him cry now. Sorry, mate. That will that will keep happening. You will keep on blubbing at the, at the most inopportune moments as well when you're not expecting it. Um, Thompson and Co. 1997. So I think it's vintage if it's 1997. It's 24 years old, isn't it? I think that makes me antique. Don't chuck your head off, Dennis. There he is. Try to fling his head off then, did you see? Oh, 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 every time. See, I paid fiver for that. Hopefully he will go for more than £5. Morning, Mike. Morning, Antoinette. Morning, Gina. Yeah, hopefully hopefully there's more than, more than a fiver to be got out of him. He doesn't seem to have any chips. The same chap had one of the... Um, Kath kissed some mugs that go for nearly 20 quid, but that had a slice out of it, and he didn't, he didn't seem to think that that was an issue. I think a mug with a bit missing is, is an issue. This is um, an Ikea storage box in the Kath kissed and Rosalie fabric. However, it is not resaleable because it has no puller on its zip. To be fair, I could get a zip puller and mend it, but I'll probably just keep it for myself because I never have enough Ikea boxes. If that falls on your buddy, jump up and move. He's fast asleep, bless him. I'm sorry for your loss too, Bumblebee. Jenny says she loves how cheerful I always am. You should see me ranting and raving, love. <laughs> I'm bullying Josh, apparently. Poor Josh. Don't know how he puts up with it. I got a VTech talking little smart alphabet desk for £1.50. Um... I believe the batteries are gone. The chap said, oh, it's working. And he said, just press that button. I was like, well, I've pressed the button six times. Nothing's happened, mate. But it's one of those that you need to wedge something in it to open it. Hang on. Yeah, it takes four double A's. But the battery compartment isn't sludged up. So that's, that's good. I don't happen to have four double A's handy because they're all downstairs. Hopefully it works. And I've no idea if it's worth anything at all. It's got to be worth more than one pound fifty, isn't it? Kelly says thanks to Carlo. I bought some curtain rings last week for fifty p. Listen, and sold within an hour for seventeen quid. Flipping heck! That's more than I get for mine. What was so special about yours? Mary Fitch, good morning. It was um, I did see Lex's um, postcard abuse. Was that live? Was that happening on a live stream or was that just in a private chat? I saw Lex putting postcards between her toes to make to make Susan feel ill. <laughs> I got five hostage kits. The lady wanted two pound each. And when I said I'd have all five, she said, oh, you could, I'll, I'll take eight for the five. So I've got anchor floral lobbins. That would have been 21.49. I think that's a hobby craft label, isn't it? Pretty sure that's a hobby craft price sticker and tinkerbell and a owl as lex would say and a creature comforts and uh lions so when you look at the original prices 28.99 12.99 20 pounds 15 and 21 there's Best part of a hundred quid there, isn't there? Amazing what people would pay for their hobby. Oh, Lex had left the live stream before the postcard abuse happened, apparently. Hi, Stephen, who says, I also bought, listed and sold a set of curtain rings this weekend because of me. I am now apparently curtain ring influencer of the year. Yeah. I did get some curtain rings today, but, you know, I'll, I'll hold out and show you the exciting stuff in a minute. Eh? I got a Primark pink bunny ballerina. Should go 15 quid. I paid 50p. Oh, I forgot about these. I bought the David Williams CD collection. It's got Billy Lair Boy, Boy in the Dress, Mr. Stink, Ratburger, Gangster, Granny. Really quite nicely presented and packaged these. So each, each 
set of discs is in a different colour thing, and then they're in a little file folder to show you which one's there. So, yeah, quite nicely done, but I don't know what they sell for. I paid three quid. Morning, DBG. Anne says, how do you do this selling stuff? I list a few bits and sell nothing. Um, I couldn't. I can't give you any hints, Anne, because it's sheer luck, no judgment on my part. Morning, Jackie. Uh, morning, Nadine. Morning, Rust Reloaded. Elaine says, curtain ring sellers need to pull themselves together. But um, tish. <laughs> I got Buddy a new harness. I'm not 100% sure it will fit him, but I figured if it doesn't, it was only two quid and we can redonate or whatever. He has been wearing Molly's old harness because he can't wear a collar at the moment. Just in case anyone has no idea what I'm talking about, Buddy was attacked on Tuesday by a much bigger dog. He did not win that fight. <laughs> did not come off best he's got staples in the back of his neck and a couple of staples in his chest which is another reason why he won't be appearing in this morning's live stream because i'm not encouraging him to jump up or anything um because of the ones in the back of his neck he can't wear his collar because his collar will pull against those staples so he's been wearing a harness to go for walks but he's been wearing molly's old one which is actually too big for him so i picked up this one this morning which looks about the right barrelly shape and size for him he's asleep so i'm not going to wake him up to try it on him but hopefully that will fit that was two quid um, but yeah, he's okay, honestly. Everybody's going poor buddy. He's a ta the dog's a tank, honestly. He's good. He's sleeping a lot because he's um he's got some decent painkillers which are um which are helping him nod off nicely. But he's okay. By the by the next day, he was behaving as though nothing had happened. We were all like, oh dear, poor buddy. And he was like, What? I'm all right, what? Um, this is the top I fixed store. Thank you very much for the compliment. Yeah. I really like it, but it's only it's only in Evans, and I got it in the charity shop, but sometimes you get one that works, don't you? Um, yes, Mary, I'm, I'm a full-time reseller, and yes, it does make a living. However, I should be honest and say that my outgoings are lower than some people's because I don't have a mortgage and stuff like that. I live in a council house. Natalie and I split the rent and stuff between us, so I have lower outgoings than some, but I do make a full-time a full -time living out of it, out of that and out of YouTube combined. The two combined are, are paying the bills. Everybody's sending lovely buddy lots of love. Thank you. I will. I will tell him when he wakes up. I um. I, I wouldn't say I attacked the owner of the other dog, but I have been round and had a chat. Good morning, Sarah. So um. So yeah. So hopefully that will fit him more comfortably than Molly's big one. He bloody hates having to go for a walk on a harness. He's so cross about it. He, you know, if you've watched my waffles, you'll know that when Buddy's in a bad mood, he pins his ear straight back and stomps along every walk ears pinned back I oh, don't know why I'm on the lead I want to go off the lead I want to go and run don't risk him bursting his staples bless him so I don't so you won't know unless you've heard me mention it in other people's chats and stuff like that because it's it, it happened this Tuesday so it'll come out in the waffle on Tuesday coming so there's no reason why you should all know I did not vlog that Susan but we did have a we had a little chat about people's dogs and and going f and how to go forward from this in a political way i got a mark suspenser swimming costume for a pound love this color i'm proud look i'm wearing this color practically so that's obviously why i love it pound for that one mns swimming costumes usually sell okay i uh, said so, hello to anyone i've missed coming i'm really itchy ear this morning hello to anyone i've missed who's wandered in when i wasn't looking and I got an Osprey handbag for a pound fifty, one pound fifty for that one. Just a classic black leather Osprey handbag. It's got a bit of a bit of a paint mark on the side there, which I will go up very gently with probably maybe a little bit of nail varnish removal or something and a cotton bird and just and just pray. But yeah, nice Osprey handbag. Mine in a little bit grubby. You can put leather handbags in the washing machine, but they don't always come out how you want them to. So. Lex is out at a car boot sale um, stall. She's, she's gone to Gelecheo, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Sorry, Wales. But she's gone to that, that car boot sale with her sister, I believe. So she'll uh, if she gets back before I'm still live, maybe she'll pop in. But I don't know whether she's coming back or whether she's going somewhere else. Anne says, can I ask about YouTube ads? I watch the ads. I watch them through. Where is that? I watch them through. Do you need to for you? Bleh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you read Anne's comment. I can't get the words out. YouTubers are paid through advertising revenue. So if you skip all the ads all the time, then yes, you're not you're not contributing towards that YouTuber's income. Having said that, that's entirely your 
prerogative if you if you don't want to watch the ads that's absolutely okay you only have to watch 30 seconds of an advert for it to count as a view for the revenue so you don't have to watch them all through some of those adverts are hours long you don't have to sit there through all the adverts but if you watch 30 seconds of an advert it counts as a view and that that youtuber does get paid for that so um I think Lex, uh, yeah, there you go. Look, Saul's answered that much quicker than I managed. <laughs> so, yeah, it's helpful for you guys if you watch some of our adverts. But having said that, when nobody's here going, you've got to do this. Kelly says, I'm super impressed with Carla sewing and making stuff. Did you see the dog collar she made the other day? Um, I need to, I, I, that was my learning curve dog collar. I need to make it again and I need to make it stiffer because what I discovered when I put it on my, I made a lead to match yesterday, which I think is in the waffle. When I put the lead on her, when she pulled, because it's only, because the collar is only thin, it folds over and she's, oh. so I need to make it, I need to fill it with some thicker material for it to be better for her throat. Um, Rust Reloaded says the spitty bit of Gerli Geyer is in the ch. Okay, so it's Gerli Geyer. They'll never let me in Wales again. <laughs> be a big sign up on the checkpoints. Hi, um, Brian. Brian says hello to the ever shrinking Carla. Hi to my fellow spanners, of which I know almost none. Hi to all the rest. <laughs> and the ads that are a few seconds long are the non skippables, and they count as a view if, if you just you don't have a choice about watching those because you can't skip them, so they count as a view regardless. Susan says wipe the camera out. <laughs> um, what's what's left in here? Oh, just the bottom of the trolley. That's all. This I got this. This is the bottom of the trolley. <laughs> that wasn't a bargain. The trolley itself is fabulous. And then, then it's then it's just fill a bag. Ugh. Okay. In my filler bag are a couple of things that were not in my filler bag that get added. So I've got some curtain rings. They were in their packet, but their packet was bust open and they've emptied themselves out into the bag. I paid a pound for these. They're mahogany, mahogany style. And the rest of them, like I said, they're going to keep on coming, aren't they, as I go through the bag. But the rest of it is filler bag and my filler bag was three pounds. Um... Cathy says it explains why the world is still going to wear masks all that spitting. Chlan <laughs> Dudno and Gachli Geyer and I don't know anywhere else that's got chluch in it. Chlan Fair Spillin Gachachach. Yvonne says, are you going to make some Christmas dog collars for sale? Like I said, I've, I've done my prototype. I've tried that. If it goes well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I was considering that I could make collars with matching leads and a matching little bag for your poop roll. Your poop bag roll. Not Nobody's carrying around a roll of poop. That was a considerable, considerable thing. Advertised curtain rings from macrame plant, plant holders. Ah. Uh, did my mum teach me to sew and stitch? Um, my mum was a professional seamstress in her youth. She worked in a factory and then she did um, piecework at home. So she certainly was the first one who taught me how to use a sewing machine. Um, but I also learned how to sew at school. They Back in those days, you did... In your home economics class, there was needlework and whatever, which I don't think they do anymore. I don't, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so I learned out of school as well as at home. So it's only I only know the basics, and I've bought a couple of books, and I watch a lot of YouTube. If you want to learn how to do stuff, it's all on YouTube. So in my three pound filler bag, I got Rubik's Sudoku. I've never seen Rubik's Sudoku before. It is a shame that my friend, who I used to see every three weeks, died last October. You may remember me being. A little bit traumatized by his death because uh, um uh, we won't go over it anyway it is a shame he's no longer with us because he loved ruby's cubes and he loved sudoku and i've never seen him in one of these so i must he must never have had it so if he was still around i'd be giving him that bear with um also in three about in fill it fill up a three a bag fill a bag for three pounds is a flowers for a medieval garden sampler kit i don't know if it's all in there or not because it's open at the top so that'll require some looking at got a skipping rope as you know natalie and i absolutely fit as f now we've been going to the gym i don't think i'm ever going to be able to skip but i was filling a bag and i thought oh skipping rope i'll chuck it in i'll make natalie skip and i can then i can watch her be in pain with her boobs instead of me with mine more current rings still coming out the back are we having a row in the chat about who's better, who's British and who isn't? 
you're all British underneath. No matter how much you might strive for independence, we had a flag. You're all ours, really. Do you have a flag? Name that quote. Lex would name that quote. Starbucks mug. This is a 2010 Christmas Starbucks mug with ice skaters on. It says, careful, the beverage you're about to enjoy is extremely hot. Fancy. Josh says, you stole my skipper rope. I did fill a bag before you did, matey. How is it your skipper rope? How is it yours? Why would you want a skipper rope, Josh? What have I missed? You got some skipping in your... Uh... Josh, do you want one? Josh, if you want to get it done and if you want it, you can have it. I didn't realise you wanted one. Why are we... What have I missed? Why has Josh been asking for a skipper rope? Start, start from the beginning, Josh. But yeah, if, if you want to make it yours. I got a clip onto the desk phone holder, which might be handy if I do any kind of... I mean, I've got one already, but fill a bag, chuck it in. Fill a bag, chuck it in. Fill a bag, chuck it in. I got two not fine faxes. One is a vintage WH Smith's. It is leather, though, which is why I picked it up, even though it's not a... Not an actual file of fact, it is leather, it has no date in it. Oh, what's this? Is this somebody's pay slip? No, it's like a list of phone numbers. I love finding people's old pay slips, especially when they're like really, really old, and you're like, oh my god, look at this poor bug. We worked 42 hours in 1973 and earned fuppence. Although fuppence then could buy your three bedroom house, so I don't know why I'm complaining. So yeah, that one that one is a Smith's, and that one is not. It's completely unbranded, but it did have two Filofax notepads in it, so it was worth picking up. Yeah, you can really burn calories skipping. However, I cannot lift both feet off the floor in one go, so I can't see it working for me. Um, Celine says, my daughter and I are doing a skipping challenge in August to raise money for charity. Wish me luck as I've not skipped in about 30 years, 35 years. If you already have a link, please pop it in the chat. And if one of the mods could help with that, that'd be great. If you don't have a link yet, when you do, do let me know and we'll make sure it's, uh, we'll, make, we'll make sure we promote it for you. Good morning, Adrian, Mr. Diggs. Um, it will depend on the individual ones. Jane, sorry, I'm answering a question like reading out. Jane wants to know, do I charge the prices on my cross stitch pants or less? It depends on the individual ones. I will have a quick look before I list them. And for example, if it says twenty eight ninety nine on it, but it's now incredibly rare and it's going for fifty, then I'll charge fifty. But yeah, I don't, I don't price according to the original price. It, it, it's, it's very much dependent. I picked up. Two packets of handkerchiefs, mainly because I thought perhaps I could do something with them than wanting them for themselves. Um, they're not particularly vintage, but maybe I could do something with them. And this chap, this chap is, uh, I picked him up because he's made in Hitchin. And that made me think of, um, of Neil and Angela. I don't know if you've heard of Neil and Angela Hall. They're big YouTubers from Hitchin. Um, so yeah, he's, he's called Wilbury. I've never heard of Wilbury, but I saw Hitchin on his, on his tag and put him in. It's another curtain hook. Another curtain hook. <laughs> there is a Wessex Collection Fine Bow China Dinosaur mug. Again, probably not worth anything, but fill a bag in we go. Picked up one of these a couple of weeks ago, and when I saw a second one, I grabbed it, and I've realised that I don't have the little square thing that goes over the treat cover it's a treat tray basically to encourage your child to eat they follow the trail and when they get to the end they can have their treat i haven't got the little cover but maybe it'll sell without lee says she doesn't allow her pelvic thing a pelvic floor would allow her to skip think yourself lucky you've got a pelvic floor mine's a pelvic basement i got a slazinger float vest for swimming for small children's. Sorry, I've got hiccups. <laughs> I've not got a drink. Bear with. Drinky poos. Ow. There's a Wilbury Hills Road in Hitchin. Maybe that's where Wilbury's from. DBG says kids do not fall for that. They go for the treat first. <laughs> Last few bits. Magnetic fridge letters. Remember these? 
I don't think they were for a fridge. Thinking back, I think they they came with a little desk. I seem to remember a little Fisher Price desk with a magnetic lid, and all of these sat in the drawer underneath. But still a bag, in it goes. Bad Wolf says you'd be good at snooker. You have to keep one foot on the floor at all times. You think you're joking, but I am good at snooker. Uh -huh. Secret depth, hidden depths. A BT Duet, Duet 20 phone with no no connection wire. I've just realised that to be honest, you can get a connection wire for a quid in a pound shop. A TP link. Now, Josh, Josh, I've got one of these, haven't I? This is what the thing that you got me to get so that I would now have <laughs> traveling robberies. So that I would now have um, internet upstairs because when I changed the talk, talk the internet wouldn't make it up here. So I'm pretty sure that this is what Josh got me to get, and now, now I've got another one. That was in the filler bag. And last, but by no means least, a little carved wooden catski. It's just flat. We'll sit like that on a shelf. Lead on its back with its belly in the air. And a, an elephant with, once again, a tusk missing. Why have they always got a tusk missing? And no, don't say ivory poachers. Don't say that. Filler bag is from the car boot, Donna. It's £3 for as much as you can get in your bag. That's it. That's the haul and all of the haul by. <laughs> Shall I stay and chat? It's weird not having Lex. Normally I go, I've got nothing else to say, Lex. Now you talk. I'm going to have to talk, aren't I? So somebody in the chat say something interesting. You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Nothing. Nobody in the chat has said anything interesting in those five seconds. Um, Cassie, you can use any bag. Literally, you can use an IKEA massive bag for filler bag. He's not fussed. He wants it gone. He wants you to take it away. Basically, how he works is he. Um, this is the guy who collects all the reject charity shop stuff during the week. So he goes around with his van and and has a contract with all the um, St Peter's Hospice and collects their 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 unloved chuck away stuff. And then when he gets to the car boot. As they go, as, as they pull each box out or bag out the van, they'll go through it and pick out the stuff that they think is worth a little bit more and put that on their main table. And then all the boxes and bags go on the floor in one side. And that's the bit that's fill a bag. So you can get really good stuff because sometimes there's stuff that they've missed in there or sometimes the stuff that they don't see the value of. And this is where Josh gets all his stock. All of it. <laughs> Hi, Amy FF. Everybody's saying something interesting. Oh, you're all so funny. <laughs> Rubble bag from being cute, yeah. <laughs> uh, plans for birthday. Where is Molly? She was here a minute ago. I think she's gone downstairs. Oh, she's in the garden looking at the hedge. She's discovered that something is living in the hedge, and so she sits there a lot of the time looking at it. I don't know what it is. Um, plans for birthday. I've got some people coming down to visit. So Neil and Angela Hall are coming, and um, some other friends are coming. And Lexi's coming and we're planning a barbecue. Having said that, the um, weather forecast is Scorchio all week until Friday. Boom, thunderstorms. So hopefully they've got that wrong. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not barbecuing. Uh, Still says, not interesting to anyone but me, but I've had the worst two weeks since I started selling online. Lost parcels, broken parcels, and return stuff means I'm 300 down. Ouch, that's a nasty run. You do find that it comes in a little run of bad luck, but it'll turn. It'll go back the other way. Fandra has completed the sale of her land this week, so she can now buy a narrowboat, give up work, and become a self-employed reseller canal trader. Hey, where will you store your stock, Fandra, when you live on a narrowboat? Because everything has to be very honed down doesn't it you slim all your possessions down and everything has a place to live where will you keep your stock will you have a storage unit or something nadine says it was the hottest day ever recorded in northern ireland yesterday 31.2 yeah baby birds in the hedge maybe donna she can't get in there she just sits there looking at them so rebecca's having a pill camera next monday isn't that amazing what they can do so they give you a camera inside a pill you swallow it and then and then what? How long for it to travel through your system to the bit they want to look at? I, don't, I have no idea how they do that. Hmm. Donna, don't worry too much about feedback, love. It doesn't make a lot of difference. A lot of people will not leave you feedback until you've left, left them some. And feedback isn't the be all on end all in these, these days. Most people don't even look at it anymore. 
Linda, I was at um, Easter Compton. I wouldn't say it's my favourite, but it's the only one I go to religiously um, because it's the only one that's on at the moment in this area. I used to love Trench Lane, but Trench has not been on this year at all. And from the gossip that I was listening to when I was walking around this morning, it sounds like it might not come back this year. I like the Witch Church one, but as I was saying to Josh, it's an afternoon one and it's too hot. There's absolutely no shade, so I would not have been able to cope with that yesterday. I like Cheddar, but I don't like the journey. I don't like trekking cross country to get to cheddar so yeah yeah i suppose easter compton is my favorite simply through convenience it's on a good time of day it's local it'll do me <laughs> and it's not like i need the stock <laughs> i still said i've just asked rebecca the question that he was going to oh fandra says her brother got a garden on the canal and also looking at storage Mrs. O says, hola. Yeah, Susan says, I think feedback has diminished over the years that I've been selling on eBay. Far fewer people bother now. And Nadine says, it's an outdated system needs to be done away with. Um, Jilly's cooking a Sunday dinner. Absolute loon. Hi, Sandra. I defrosted some chicken yesterday, but I'm probably just going to have cooking it for the dogs because I don't feel like cooking at all. If I cook it, <laughs> this sounds terrible. If I cook it for the dogs, doesn't matter whether I've done a good job of cooking it because the dogs are not fussy. They won't go, this chicken's a bit rubbery. It's a bit hard. It's not properly cooked. They just go, yump, thank you very much. Whereas if I cook it for my mother, I've got to try not to, not to poison her. So I might just cook it for the dog. Oh, and Re 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 Rebecca doesn't know how the camera thing works. Well, can you please ask all the questions so that you can tell us? <laughs> Kelly's off for a nap. See you later, Kel. And Rust says, I seem to have feedback on every item for about 10 sales and then nothing for what seems like weeks. I find that if you start approaching what you see as a milestone, so maybe you're approaching a, a, a special number of thousand or whatever, I find that's when they stop coming in. You're like, I only need three more and then I'll be on 8,000. And it makes absolutely no difference to you whatsoever. But you feel like it's a target that you'd like to get to. And that's it. No feedback for months. Then, <laughs> Yeah, salad, boil a few eggs, throw in some ham and chicken. I would do, yeah. Fandry's got to cook a Sunday dinner as well for the residents. So that sounds like multiple Sunday dinners. Gemma wants to know, have anybody else been beat, bitten alive by midges? I have not been suffering. Touch wood. Touch wood. If Buddy can survive what he survived Tuesday, then he's going to survive a bit of chicken, I tell you. Pie mash and liquor. You must be somewhere up north, surely. If that's if you're in this country at all. I'm not sure where you are, Donna. I'm sorry. I do tend to forget where people are located. Oh, hello, Lainey. How are you? Store says he reckons one in five sales gets feedback on Etsy. Sandra says I try and always leave feedback on stuff I buy, especially if it's good. So I quit she knows. Oh, my God. Look at that. Cassie says, my son went to London for a business meeting in a beer garden. He had a pint of bitter, many. As soon as he touched the glass, because it had come out of the dishwasher, it literally exploded. That's terrifying, isn't it? If I was him, I would have then told people that I was a, a Marvel superhero and I'd, I'd accidentally release some of my power and I wouldn't do it again. And just watch all your friends go, don't piss him off, mind. Don't piss him off. Claire says... Thank you for sharing the dog joint tablets on your top 10 Amazon video. I've just paid £70 for 120 from the vets. Amazon will be 32 Yeah, exactly. The, the, I mean, you can understand why the vets don't bother telling you this, but they are much cheaper on Amazon than they are from the vets. Much, much cheaper. You can also get them elsewhere cheaper, because I think it was Fandria who said on, on my video that, that quite often there's an offer on Facebook to get them for five. I've never seen that. But, um, but yeah, so... Like I said, they really make a difference to Kai. They really do. You can tell a difference. Mash and Liquor is London, is it? Oh, is it? I don't, it shows that I don't know nothing. Nothing. I knows nothing. I bought a bud vase from Josh. <laughs> Susan Bud will go, ah, a bud vase. It's a vase. <laughs> South End, is that where, oh, Pie Mash and Nicker, is it also Jelly Deals? South End and Walthamstow and stuff like that. Is that Jelly Deals? Yeah, exactly. It's the you move ones that I recommended on my Amazon video. Pardon me, but you can also get um, a, a human version, which they call I move, and apparently they're they're really good as well. So maybe I should try some. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm gonna get some. Blinding flash of realization, live on air. 
Nadine wants to know, does anybody else find when it's coming out to eBay shop fees due date, sales are flying out and then as soon as they're paid, tumble wheels come rolling in. I wonder if that's um, a significant thing. I've just realised that this, when are the fees due? No, mine go out on the first now because they stung me. by When they changed from fees from PayPal to fees from managed payments, they took my in the middle of the month from PayPal and then they took them again on the first of the month from managed payments. So theoretically, they owe me a fortnight somewhere. And I suppose I should ring up and argue, but who can be bothered? Who can be bothered to ring up and talk to eBay? My glasses are definitely wonky, aren't they? And yet they don't, it must be my ears, because they don't look wonky when I put them down. My ears must be wonky. Or my eyebrows, probably my eyebrows. Hmm. Maybe one of my ears is falling off. I'm a little warm, Lainey, it has to be said. I'm a little warm. I rang my mother last night. Now, my mother has a, a real knack of thinking things are only happening to her when they're actually happening to everyone. So she said to me, is it just me or has it been warm today? I was like, it's been warm today, Mum. The entire country is suffering from like a, you know, 14,000 degree heat wave. It's not just you. <laughs> Oh yeah, the working feet stuff's really good. Honestly, everything everything I recommended was a genuine bought this, bloody love it. I mean, I, I might do another 10, 10 things I bought from Amazon and think are crap. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that next. Maybe Amazon won't thank me for that. Can Amazon sue you if you tell people their stuff's shit? <laughs> Bad, well, oh, I like it warm, but I don't like it this warm. <laughs> That's Peter K. if anybody's wondering. Oh, and it's warm. Oh, oh, I like it warm, but I don't like it this warm. I don't know where the car boot is in relation to where Lex lives. I think it's a bit of a trek. And I don't know if she was coming straight home or whether she was going off with Kate somewhere else. She might have gone to Kate's house. So I don't think we are expecting Lex, but if she pops in, all well and good. Although I also will be going. What time is it now? I must leave by quarter to 12 because I've got to pick mother up and stuff. Elaine says, did you know you can give dogs paracetamol dosage based on weight? I did know that, although I never have. I'm always a bit nervous about giving them stuff they haven't that I haven't been told to give them. Hi, Lynn. Chris says, I need joint tabs. My ankles and legs are swollen in this hot weather. A lot of that will also be water retention, so watch your salt intake. If your ankles and legs are swelling, watch your salt intake because salt makes you retain more, more, more fluid. Leon's off to live in Sweden, so not staying here if this heat is going to continue. Do they not have any heat in Sweden? They must have summer, surely. Nadine says, 300 of the plus you move tablets, which are for older dogs, cost me about £50. I wait for an offer to come in on them. That's my big boy about two months, but that's from their own website. No one knows, Claire. I had tickets. I was very excited to see him. I think the general assumption is that it must have been something medical, either for him or a close family member. I mean, he's entitled to his private life, but he's never made an announcement explaining why why he cancelled so suddenly. And he appeared then on was it Comic Relief or or something similar um, in last year, and he didn't look his usual healthy self, and that's the best I can manage. Best I can manage. I don't want to start rumours and cast aspersions, but he didn't look necessarily as though he'd been very well. So. If you're watching Peter K, one of your biggest fans, and I do hope you're all right. And if it wasn't you and my family member, then I do hope they're all right. But, but I guess everybody's entitled to their private life, isn't they, aren't they? But it's um, yeah, we we were we were really gutted when it was cancelled. We were so excited to get the tickets because we've, we've we've seen him live before and he's amazing. And we were so excited to get the tickets, and then when it's cancelled, it was like no. But I've got other gigs lined up. I've got Jason Manford, and that's been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And we've got John Bishop, and that's been pushed back several times as well. And we're still, I'm still waiting to take my mother to see Andre Ryu, and that's been pushed back three or four times now. And then another gig that we had for a local comedian has been refunded, so they've, I think they've given up trying to find a date for that one. Val says, in a winter's day power cut, my mum insisted it was just us, because the bus had gone past with all its lights on. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> oh, there you go. So Fandria says he's ill, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Electronic Fireman Scott says Peter K was in the chat. He got a bit blue, so I put him in timeout. My bad. Always blue. Always blue. Bit of blue for the dads. Oh, always blue. 
I think I can quote pretty much his entire previous tours. I have seen him. I've watched him. Yeah, Danny Mallon from Rate My Takeaway. Um, if you haven't watched that, it's definitely worth watching. He goes around eating his... He takes a, a little fold-up table and chairs and he goes around and orders a takeaway and sits and eats outside the premises. And, and yeah, he, he does look a lot like Peter Kay as well. Yeah, car share was brilliant as well. Lex is out at a car boot sale, Rachel. So, um, so it's just me flying solo today. Mm. Not how you fly. You fly like that, don't you? Mm. Yeah, he takes his little table everywhere, doesn't he? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, somebody else say something interesting because I've run out of interesting things to say. I need. I really need Lex. I didn't realise how much I needed Lex for my live streams. She is obviously the wind beneath my wings, the wind beneath my bum. <laughs> what have I missed there? It's also we had a five minutes power cut last week, and when it came back on, four electrical items stopped working. You have had a good week, mate. Honestly, check your fuses because it could have blown your fuses or something when it came back on. Thank you, Rachel. And Fandra has lost exactly two stone. Woo woo, nice one. Susan says, I, I missed my vocation as an airline pilot. <laughs> I wonder if they make that noise. If you were a pilot, would you be making that noise in the car? I would. Every time I flew the plane, I'd be going, <laughs> and if I went past another plane, I'd be going, <laughs> and I'd be fired. <laughs> How's the crocheting going? I haven't done any this week. I don't have enough hours in the week to fit all the things in. Has it got any bigger since you guys saw it last? It's that big now. Oh, no, it's a bit, little bit smaller now because I've just unraveled a bit. Natalie is learning to crochet as well. She is crocheting. She wants to crochet a bee. She desperately wants a crocheted bee. Can't find anyone to make one for her. Anyone who knows how to crochet in a shape. So she's trying to learn to crochet, bless her. But at this rate, she won't get a bee till she's 106. Josh, there's a certain website might say you and Lex have fallen out now as she's not here. Well, maybe Lex has fallen out with me and not told me because I'm such a bully. Maybe that's it. Aileen says, I went shopping Friday the first time in 20 months. I bet that felt really weird. I bet it felt proper odd being out. Fandria has lost her weight thanks to hypnosis on YouTube. And I know you've mentioned that to me a couple of times and I keep meaning to go and have a look, but I forget. I can't sit and watch hypnosis during the day because I get nothing else done. I'll just be sitting there going... I keep meaning to put it on in, in bed at night and, and see how that goes. But I keep forgetting. Still says Shelley's daughter crochets animals. The, the, the oldest daughter, I can't remember Shelley's daughter's names. I, I do know it, but they've, they've departed from my current brain bank. Rachel says, my son, daughter and son-in-law have all tested positive for COVID and we were all together a few days ago, so my husband and I have to self-isolate for 10 days. Good luck to both you and him. I hope neither of you kills the other. <laughs> Claire says, I found a new channel for me. Bet I'm late to the party, but loving watching her is Thrift Nice, British woman in the USA. I watch Thrift Nice. I do watch her. Um, I like what she picks up, although I found her voice difficult to adjust to at first. But um, I think it's because I sit there trying to pick apart her accents and work out where, because she's got a combination of two accents going on. I sit there trying to work out which, which bit's which. Brian says cancer's been a real weight loss surge for me. Wouldn't one out of five wouldn't recommend. <laughs> yeah, Tony says I've been listening to a weight loss hypnosis thing most nights, but I fall asleep before the end of the intro. It's lost a state. That's it. The thing is with a weight loss hypnosis, it should work while you're asleep. It's subliminable, 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 subliminal, 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 subliminal. It's it's slimming messaging. Subliminal messaging. <laughs> Yeah, I should get Fandria. I'm sure you've linked to me before, but if you could send me a link through Messenger or whatever, I'll definitely give it a go, I promise. Joyce says, my girls have just done 10 days isolation. I was the one who tested positive despite having both jabs. And I, and I something. Thrift Nice stall, that's the one. This is the first Welsh car boot sale that Lex has been to as far as I'm aware. I don't think she's been to any others. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure she was a bit... Um, Punch drunk, shopping happy. <laughs> she spent £43, which for me would mean I got a load of stuff. And for Lex, it doesn't necessarily because she's quite willing to pay up for good stuff. So who knows? Who knows whether she's coming in with armloads or just a couple of bits? 
Rekha Rack says, why do we have to self-isolate and yet the ministers who came in contact with Shadi Sajid David don't? Apparently they are, though. Um, I think Nadine said earlier on that, that the Prime Minister and whatever are going to be self-isolating. So, don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Laney says, I've just put fix a dent on my toothbrush. Did you realise in time, Laney? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you realised in time. Now, were they saying that if you've been double jabbed, you don't have to isolate even if you test? Or were they saying that if you've been double jabbed, you don't have to isolate when you come back in from another country? I've lo so lost track of what they're saying. I don't. I don't. I've, I've lost track. I don't know what. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know who's doing what. No idea. Claire says she's been in the USA for 10 years and she's from Yorkshire. It makes an unusual accent. Yeah, that's it. I took me a while to adjust because I was like, oh, her accent is, she's, there's just a, a bit of both in there. Yeah. There's a new daily testing scheme for all public workers, which they were going to take part in, but Labour said that was wrong, apparently. Don't know. Celine made a crochet bee for her daughter's mentor. So they go, Celine, if you would like to make a crochet bee for my daughter, I will willingly pay you to do so. Please contact me. If you if you don't have me on Facebook, wherever, there's an email address underneath all the videos. And um, yeah, because Natalie really wants one. I bought her a crochet your own monster kit, and I think that's helped her learn a few bits. But I feel like if you've never crocheted before, going straight into making a, sh a, a specific shape is probably a bit full on Brian says he was supposed to be dead before the year's end last year, he got on an experimental treatment and he's still here, some organ function returning and holding weight, so I don't know Well, I reckon, Brian, I reckon you are basically the body of the human world you are a machine and you will go on forever I believe in you Donna said, oh, oh, Elaine said at least it wasn't super glue to Laney. And Donna said, oh, pile cream. <laughs> Imagine if it was super glue and you didn't realise. I mean, super glue luckily doesn't look like toothpaste, does it? The new scheme says you take a test every day for five days rather than stay at home for 10. They go, Stor says he was given three to five years to live 10 years ago. Where did I get my glasses? The ones I'm wearing today are spec savers. Um, but most of my glasses that you'll see me wearing in different videos are actually from Zimf.com. Um, and I should be honest and say that they, they gift me glasses and I've had some lovely ones. I've got some really nice ones. Let me, um, I, I, I pretty much wear a different pair for every video now. So these are the latest pair. These are called Miana. Like these, really do like these. Um, I haven't worn them out yet because they feel a bit thin on the arms because I'm used to a thick arm. And every time I go out, I'm driving unless I walk the dogs. I'm like, can I drive in these glasses with these thin arms? So I'll have to try one day and just go around the block because it makes it makes your vision seem different. I don't know if that makes any sense. If you're not a glasses wearer, that probably sounds like complete and utter poppycock. Boulder dash. Um, these ones, what, which ones are these? I haven't written the name on these. I can't remember what these are called. I normally write the name on the box. These are also Zimp. These are my looking intelligent glasses. Make me look clever. These are my sunglasses, which I really need to put in the bloody car because they're not much good in the house. And these are all from Zimp, and they're all really, really reasonably priced. Hashtag not an ad, although they have sent me free glasses and all of these I have not paid for. For the sake of transparency. Transparency being an important thing. And I've got two other pairs, but they're under a stack of stuff at the moment. How long have I been live, Lisa? Uh, 49 minutes precisely. I'm going in 10 minutes. Well, I'm going in seven minutes time because I need to go at quarter two. I have got a pair of bifocals. They are here. They are spec savers. I only wear them for sewing because if I try and wear them for living, I can't cope with them. I've tried and tried and tried to get used to them and I cannot cope with them. But they are quite good if I'm sewing or whatever. And then I've got reading glasses. And honestly, it's ridiculous. It's like a branch of flipping glasses shot right here. Do I have to buy another castle in new glasses? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm really pleased with the mini aircon thing. Really pleased with that. Works a treat. 
I don't, I haven't bought any bifocals online, I've got to be honest. So I cannot answer that one. But yeah, if you've got your prescription, then you can buy glasses online very, very cheaply. And I feel like if you only spend 10 or 20 quid, then if they don't work for you, you haven't lost much, you know? There are links. If you go and find my Zimp video that I did a few weeks ago, there's links under there to the website and there's a discount code if you want it. So worth a try. I don't have the right kind of eyes for laser treatment, apparently, Lynn. I did go and find out about it, but I haven't got the right kind of... I don't know. My Something about my eyes being the wrong shape, the, my corneas. I can't even remember what they said. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. You just close the, close the correct eye at the time. and <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think if you've got a really complicated prescription, perhaps you can't buy online. Oh dear. Is anybody else not sleeping very well because of the heat? I tried to have the window open last night. I don't normally sleep with the window open. And I never remember why until I have the window open. And then in the middle of the night, I remember why. And I have to get up and close the window. Because the reason I don't sleep with the window open is because the foxes play in the park at night and drives the dogs bonkers. That's why I don't sleep with the window open. And I forget and I go, it's too hot, I'll open the window. And then about half an hour later, I'm like, close the fucking window again. Damn it. <laughs> so I'm going to take the fan in the bedroom tonight instead. So says he's being serious. They do glasses with one eye, one of each eye. Do they really? Apparently your eyes and brain adjust to focus with the correct eye automatically. Well, that's amazing. I presumed you were joking. Hi, Aid. Aid's coming towards the end again. I'm sure he does that deliberately, so I don't have time to tease him very much. Leanne says, didn't sleep a wink last night, and then again, I rarely do. I'm a walking zombie. It's all the brains, mate. Stop eating all the brains. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've tried to get on with the varifocals, but just not just not dealt with it very well. Elaine says, I found out on Friday that my best friend's youngest grandson, age eight, has got lymphoma. He had a bump, big lump in his neck removed last week. I think the only positive you can draw from that is that he's young and younger people do tend to bounce back better, don't they? But I do hope they've got it all and that he's um, that he comes back clear. Joy says, my mum had issues after a cataract procedure. Optician said nothing could be done, so I pushed for hospital referral. They saw the specialist who said he'd laser and fix her problem. Hmm. Caroline's just said, where did you get my glasses from? <laughs> We're not here five minutes ago, Caroline. This pair of spec savers, most of my glasses are from Zimph. You'll have to rewind, love. <laughs> just done all that. <laughs> Yeah, within 10 minutes you could see perfectly. I'd love I'd love laser surgery, but like I said, apparently I don't have the right shaped eyes. Got to wait for science to move on. Aid had another heavy night. Filth bag. Absolutely filth, that Aid. Dirty, dirty, dirty man. <laughs> I need to start saying goodbye because I do need to leave to pick up my mother in three minutes. So I need to start saying goodbye. There's Ian the Tat Doctor, look. I recently, recently received an email from my GP telling me they wanted to survey the older generation. Reading further, the older generation is 45 plus. So rude. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, not sleeping well. Yeah, Frankie's fine. Says my contacts are one eye for distance and the other for closer stuff. It was weird at first for about an hour or so, and then I never really noticed unless stuff is too close up. Hmm. Hmm. It's amazing what they can do with eyes, isn't it? You would think that, you know, scary stuff. I remember my dad going for his cataracts and, and, and telling me about it. And I was like, oh, that's, that sounds scary. Okay. I am going to say goodbye. Thank you to all of you for putting up with just me this morning. I'm sorry there's been no Lex, but um, hopefully you'll get a haul video out of her at some point. Hey, hopefully she'll come back and do a look at my sparkly bits for you. I hope you all have a wonderful week. There will be. I'm going to do this myself. Ah, oh, I don't know the script. Next does the script. There will be a charity shop haul on Monday, despite the fact that plainly I've bought nothing, nothing at all. Honest, honest, honest engine. There will be the waffle on Tuesday. Am I still fat on Thursday? Spoilers, still fat. And something, no idea what, coming up on Saturday. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Hope it's not too hot for you. And if it is too hot for you, lie around in a puddle and just complain a lot. We're British. That's how we deal with it. 
See you all soon. Take care. Awkward wave on my own. Lonely awkward wave. Can you all awkward wave back at me so I don't feel so lonely? Bye.